And the third way that I want to show you about making lines on your images is probably the simplest and most straightforward way. And that would be cutting a line and just gluing it on top of your image. And that certainly comes along more toward the end when you're trying to add tiny little um, details uh, to bring out certain aspects or throw color around your piece. Now, I, this is a um, piece of fabric that's left over from this line that I showed you um, how I applied. And so now I've got this, um, the negative of that little squiggle that I made. So sometimes I'll take that piece and then continue cutting like a little echo. But in this case, I'm just making a whole other little, um, a separate piece. It's not attached to anything like the other one was. So here now I've used that as a guide and I'm just gonna kind of finish up this little edge here. And so here's that piece I've got and it's an interesting shape and I can figure out where it's gonna go. It's a nice way of adding color, like I said, or breaking up a shape. What I'm gonna do is use it maybe right here and add another little line in um, this part of the plate. So it looks like it's got like a little wrinkle in the plate or something. So I kind of like the way that is. I'm going to um, now take this little piece of fabric. I'm going to flip it over, take my glue and onto some scrap paper or some scrap fabric. This is my foundation and it's either going to get cut, um, covered up or cut off anyway. So it doesn't really matter if it gets a little excess glue on it. And I'm going to smear the glue. And then I'm going to lift it up and um, place it back here. I was going to start it kind of near that edge right there and then squiggle it around a little bit. And something like this, it doesn't really matter exactly where it falls. I could use pins in place, you know, kind of mark it with pins if I was really concerned about it. But what I really wanted to do is break up the shape a little bit with something that kind of echoed that color. And um, I usually save all my scraps. So as I'm working on a piece, I save all these little pieces because you never know when you might need them. And it's good to save them at least for finishing up this project because I know that all these scraps are going to work in this particular turtle because they came from it to begin with. So um, I've already started adding some details and some of these lines on the, the feet. And if you look over here, it's got the light, um, kind of a highlight, and it's got a dark one there. So I can keep adding a lot of little details, and they make a, make a difference really toward the end. So if you see this light piece right there, if I take that and I could just add it as another little bit of a um, curve for the end of the flipper, on that one and it kind of picks up the things that are happening and I would turn it upside down, glue it and put it back in place just like I did that little squiggle. So that's um, kind of the, the last way, basic way of adding lines to your fabric collage, ima fabric collage image.